have you. I know you saw that devastation firsthand. Uh, what do you think of the recovery efforts that are underway right now in Florida? And what do you think of the president's response to what he saw on the ground? Well, there's going to be a lot of recovery and rebuilding ahead for Northwest Florida, but I can tell you that in my many years working in state government, I have never seen a unity of effort between our local partners, state partners, and certainly the federal support like we've seen with Hurricane Michael. Counties were immediately added to the FEMA disaster declaration list. That meant that people were able to sign up for individual assistance FEMA faster than ever before. Our challenge now, Trish, is that we've got to get the power on. You know, in Florida, if the air conditioning's off mm -hmm. for more than a week, we get pretty ornery. So we got to get the power back on, especially for our vulnerable populations. But we've also got to get supplies, food and water, away from our distribution centers and out into neighborhoods where we're still finding that there are people, senior citizens, others who may not have been found, but may be trapped in a house and in need of assistance. So very much the search and rescue remains underway. And having the president here, I thought I think brought comfort to a number of people who are having to rebuild their lives. Yeah. You know, I, I suppose if there's any time that you need that civility, it's at a time where you're seeing that kind of destruction. I mean, and, and fortunately, we are seeing people there on the ground that are being civil to each other um, to try and help one another with that rebuilding. Let me turn to a subject that, Congressman, I know you're very passionate about, uh, and that's been the Mueller investigation. There's talk now that the administration is looking at uh, possibly answering some of Mueller's questions. Uh, via the lawyers a and the thinking is that if they do that this whole thing may be coming to an end something I know you would like to see what's your sense of when it's gonna wrap up yeah, I don't have a sense of when it's going to wrap up because I don't think we really understand as a country what the four corners are of the Mueller investigation. Is this something that now is going to delve into Roger Stone's taxes? Are we going to lurch into more information about Paul Manafort in the 1980s? I think we're on a never-ending journey, and I think it's important for us to have some sense of structure at the Department of Justice so we know what Robert Mueller is looking at and really what we expect to get as a report regarding the substantive issues. So I am not confident that the president responding to interrogatories or questions in writing will hasten this process at all. It very may well extend the process, frankly. I think that legitimizes an investigation that has a rotten foundation and that has been populated by a number of very biased people. So you'd recommend he, he not answer those questions? I wouldn't give it the time of day. Okay. I mean, look, I saw people today that needed their president focused on disaster response, focused on how to rebuild our national security apparatus that was impacted from this hurricane. You know, the president's dealing with renegotiating trade deals. I just don't know that sitting down and legitimizing a very illegitimate yeah. investigation is the best use of his time. Well, Congressman, it's good to see you. How are you feeling about midterms? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling pretty bullish here in Florida. Look, if, you know, if we're able to get people voting, I mean, one of the things, frankly, we're concerned about, Trish, is that if ballots are lost, if election centers and polling centers are damaged, are we going to be able to get the vote in? I think in my state, if we get the vote in, it'll be very good for Republicans because we're not tired of winning yet in Florida. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. Good to have you.